Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 9 of season 2 of To Your Eternity. So it's going to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see what the heck happened on Sunday. I, I would have watched this Sunday, but I, I came home and I fell asleep. <laughs> Ate and fell asleep. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So, from what I remember preview-wise, like, I'm guessing this is going to be the start. Well, no. Fuji's heading heading to the other town that's it but I feel like maybe in this episode or in the next couple of weeks um that's going to be the start of Fuji's army because that's what Bond bon wants Bond yeah that's what Bond wants to give him right I'm guessing maybe <laughs> But yeah, I really wanted to watch this yesterday, but when I came home and I ate, I was, I was so tired. I was extremely tired. And then I woke up between 6 and 7 o'clock, and the next thing you know, I, I watched a stream, six hour stream, and I was like, oh, well, I'll just do it when the stream is over. And the next thing you know, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, <laughs> I gotta go to bed, I gotta go to work in the morning. Or in the mid-afternoon and such. And I said, okay, I'll just do it tomorrow when I come home from work with Bleach and one other thing that I gotta watch. And then all three of them will just come out tomorrow because I was like, by the time I finish, there's no way in hell that I'm gonna be able to get it all out. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, sir, they're already dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, you, you tried. You tried. Grab the old man, please. Honey, I think your father's dead. Yeah, he dead. Time to go. He can't be saved. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hmm? All the way in the front? Mm. 
Oh! 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 Now the biggest question is who is Fuji going to lose like the oh god I don't even want to think about that Well, that's one. No, not Google, no! All through the night. So, who do you have left? No. Five. Oh my God. They're there. Just can't remember what they look like. Mm hmm. Yeah. Are supposed to be graves? That's the only thing you can do, Fuji. Baby, you can't save everyone, I know. Something like that.
Oh. Uh-uh. This is reckless. Quicksand. You know, the bear, the bear is the one that I always keep forgetting that he has. No! Oh, his horse! Oh, damn, not the horse, man. We just got the horse! Thing is, how in the world did the horse? Oh, how did a horse know how to find him? He wants you to ride him. Okay. Mm. 
Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm? mm -hmm. And if you throw the rocks and branches into the swamp, huh? you can recreate a fish! No, no! The horse is trying to tell you something! That's messed up. That's messed up. That's not cool. Everybody who he's made friends with, they took him out because they're all gone right now. So they are weak to iron. Ew. I mean, and that is a smart move. Like, really, he the fact that it was so easily, a little too easy in my opinion, but I mean, oh. Well, you know, you're kind of a little too late, but you know, thanks. <laughs> Okay, so where are the rest then? No, Fuji, wait! <laughs> Look, you little bastard. Will you just use me? So that you don't lose any more vessels. Have a bad. Oh my god! I mean, that was an easy kill, too, but I mean, dang. You'll lose all the vessels. Mm. 
And how are you supposed to save them with the three of y'all? Like bigger bombs or ships too. How though? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they show goo goo too. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay, now how in the world is he going to copy this big behind ship? Okay, we got pigs. You make you want to think how they were going to survive, but they got food, so of course. only has five. Seeing Tonani and Martin sitting together, oh my god! <laughs> he needs to get them back. It's just, oh, it, you know how it's like, you, it doesn't feel right until, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sleepy, until everyone is here. It doesn't feel right until everyone is here. Everyone who he, he's lost that is on this journey with him, is here with him. Jesus Christ, like, oh my God, mm -mm. <sighs> I'm sad. <laughs> I am. This is a good episode, though, but I hate the fact that he's lost, he, out of all the vessels, he's lost so many super quick, and then this battle that's going to happen in a year, how many more are you going to lose? I can't even think about that. I don't want to think about that. Like, no. Jesus, this is too much. Like, no. But the fact is that the dark, uh, the black one gave him a horse to handle. Like I said, yeah, we are kind of getting closer to the Fuji, the army and such. I'm guessing. Because, I mean, it has to come at least in the next couple of weeks. Like I said, that's the guess. But something tells me that they're going to extend it to something, maybe. I say, like, episode 12. But they're not going to believe him. Is it the girl with the ponytail? Like the the princess looking girl who, you know, covers her face? Or, I, I'm guessing it's not. It has to be someone different. So, the question is, was she featured in the opening? Because that makes me want to go back and look. But the only one... The, the, no, 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 no. Hold on. They're... There's like, I think, two or three girls featured in the opening. It's the girl who has her face covered, reddish hair, 
and she, you know, she's looking out on the sunset on a balcony. So, of course, that can't be her. There's two other ones, but they're fighting against the knockers. So, I'm guessing either this is, this could be an anime-only type character or something, or this could be someone who is still essentially canon to the actual story, but just in a different way. Who knows? Because maybe in the manga they're possibly meeting in a completely different route and such. Who freaking knows? But yeah, I mean, the episode was good. It, it went a little too fast and then kind of like slow at points, but I still enjoyed it and such. Um, but something kind of told me at first, like with this next episode coming up, I thought they would have flashed forward to a year, but I'm glad they're not. I mean, of course, like I love the fact that Bond is going to the city and telling them, hey, you're going to be attacked in like a year from now. And of course, no one is going to believe him. Be like, oh, how can you make a prediction as silly as that? There's no way where that we're going to get attacked in a year. And then in the end, we get a year later and it's going to all bite him in the butt and such. But I do also love the fact that they're, they're, all three of them are going to try their best to save the people of this city. Some people will listen to them. And if they say, like, heed my warning, say, hey, go far away from this city, make a, a new life um, somewhere else, some will listen. Others, not so much. And they have to learn the hard way. That's pretty much, you know, that is the game of life. You're going to either, you know, that you're either going to do it the good way, the easy way, or the hard way. It's just up to them at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 9 of season 2 of To Your Eternity. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Sunday for episode 10. Bye, guys.